Hi, in this video tutorial, we'll be going over how to resolve the most common login issues you might face while using Surfshark. Okay, so first of all, if you're unable to log into Surfshark on the website or the app, it could be due to a lost password. Resetting your password is super easy. The simplest way is to head to this link at my.surfshark.com forward slash auth forward slash reset via your browser. For your convenience, the link will also be available in the video's description below. On this page, you'll be asked to enter your email address that you use to register on Surfshark. Once you type that in, hit the Get Reset Link button, and now a reset password email should be sent to your email inbox. It should be at the very top in your email inbox, and in case you can't find it, make sure to also check your spam folder, as sometimes it can get lost over there. In the email itself, you should find a button saying Reset Your Password. So let's click on that. And now you'll be able to create a new password for your Surfshark account. Make sure to create a strong yet memorable password. Now, the next most common login error you might get is the too many login attempts error. This indicates that your IP address has been blocked due to too many unsuccessful login attempts as the message implies. So you could just wait around 10 to 15 minutes and try logging in again, which should resolve this issue. However, if it still doesn't let you log in, you could try switching from Wi-Fi to cellular data or vice versa, which in turn will change your IP address and let you log in. Now, if you're logging into Surfshark on a different device, try using the login with code feature. All you have to do is enter the code you see on screen on the Surfshark app and that's it. However, if all else fails, the last thing to try is just to simply restart your router. Wait a little bit and then try logging in again. Now, this might be obvious, but sometimes if you're unable to log into the Surfshark app, see if you have another VPN running in the background. It's best to try and disconnect from a different VPN if it's active to see if that helps. Likewise, if you're trying to log into, say, uh, the Surfshark website, but you have Surfshark VPN connected, it's also a good idea to disconnect from Surfshark and attempt to log in again to see if maybe that was the culprit. Speaking of the Surfshark website, login issues can also sometimes be solved by just trying a different browser or by using incognito mode. And the final potential error that you might receive when logging in is the unable to reach the Surfshark systems error. And this can only happen for the Surfshark app and the solution here is to simply try updating your app or to completely reinstall it. And last but not least, if you have simply forgotten your Surfshark login email or think you made a typo while registering, as well, that can happen, then do not worry as you can contact Surfshark customer support available 24-7 via live chat or email and request your email to be changed. But please note that you will be required to provide your Surfshark payment details, such as your payment date, type, amount, and much more. This is done to confirm your identity entity as an additional security measurement. But that's all you need to know in order to fix any login issues that may come up while using Surfshark. Remember that Surfshark support is always available via the Help Center page, which I will link in the description below in case you have any further questions. But that's about it. Take care and goodbye.